Oh 
Just like cooling water from Grandma. 
everybody let's give God this worship if you know he's awesome come on stand on your feet everybody if you know he's awesome you're in all of his grace you're in all of his goodness you're in all of his mercy you're in all of his provision he's great and he's greatly to be praised hallelujah come on everybody lift your hands as we lift our voices Come on, say, my God is awesome. Come on, say, he can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Come on, say it, hide me from the rain. That's it. My God is awesome. Come on, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever he'll reign. Come on, you got it. My God is awesome. Come on, say, he can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. Has he ever covered you? Come on, my God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever he'll reign. One word, come on everybody. My God. My God is awesome. Come on, somebody lift your voice. Awesome. If you know it's been good, say it. Awesome. 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 Say my God. My God is awesome. Come on, if you know he's been good, do you testify? Awesome. Somebody ought to lift your voice. Savior of the whole world, giver of salvation, by his stripes, I'm healed. <laughs> yeah, my God is awesome. Listen, today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. Somebody ought to praise his holy name. Come on, you say, my God. Where the Lord has brought you from. Awesome. 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 Let's talk about why he's awesome. You said he's, he's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. He's mighty. Awesome. awesome. Somebody ought to lift your voice and celebrate. Awesome. If you know he's been good, you said he's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy.
Jesus. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain.
good to me. Just to name a few things that he done for me. Last night, when I laid down in my bed, didn't he even have enough knowledge to go to sleep, y'all. But he didn't leave me. He didn't leave me. He stood right by my bedside. Touch me with his awakening power. Let my eyes come open now. Behold a new day. He's already unraveled in my life. I know he's good to me. I know he's good to me. I wonder if anybody else here know he's been good. Anybody else here know he's been good. Anybody else here say he's been good to me. I know he 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 good to me. I remember I remember when the shooting happened in the school out west. I was sitting there watching TV when the news came over the screen. And you know I thought about that same thing could have happened at Pontotoc High School. That's where my children go. But then when I looked out of my window, I could see them coming down the driveway. I raised my hand and said, Lord, you good to me. You good to me. I know you good. child oversee when they began to show those little children up on the street some were too big in one place and too little in another some were so dehydrated they couldn't even make tears to cry some malnutrition had already set in, couldn't even stand up on their own little leg. And then they showed some that laid around and just starved to death, y'all. But then when I watched my children get up out of their bed, go down in the kitchen and pick an excuse and what they want to eat, I said, oh! I said, oh!
to me. You've been good 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 to me. If I don't wake up in the morning, you've been good to me. If I don't be able to leave here tonight, you've been good. You've been good to me. I just want to thank him and I you be because of me you're not the only one that can stand in this place tonight and tell See, I can look back, see how for the Lord have already brought me, and my life has not always been good, but some way, somehow, God always been away from me. I just want to know one thing while we're all here together. If there is anybody here. No God has been good to you. Oh, I know He's been good to me. I know He's been good to me. I can't name everything, but He's been good to me. I wonder if anybody here can think of one thing He's done for you. Somebody say He brought me over. Somebody say He pulled me. Is anybody here? Have you ever done anything for anybody? Have you ever went out of your way for somebody? Well, you know how it makes you feel when that same person come back and tell you, I thank you. Well, don't you think he might feel that same way if you know he done something for you? You all go on. tell you can I tell it somebody don't want to hear my story Can I ask you one more time? Can I tell my story? Okay. I was reading the other day about a man named Moses. 
I was reading why one day God called Moses. Told him, said, Moses, I want you to go down in Egypt land. I want you to tell old Pharaoh to let my people go. And you know how that story goes. Moses began to kind of question God. said, now, Lord, are you sure I'm the one? Say, you know, I, my tongue is a little tired and I don't speak real well. Lord told him, said, Moses, all I want you to do is just go and I'll go with you. Just open your mouth and I'll speak for you. Moses went on and told Pharaoh what the Lord had said. But you know how that story goes. Pharaoh's heart was hard and he wouldn't let those people go. Well, after God had brought several plagues upon the land of Egypt, he called Moses again. He said, Moses, I want you to go back and tell old Pharaoh, if he don't let my people go, tell him there'll be a great cry in the land of Egypt. Tell him that all of the firstborn in that land will be killed. And then Moses, I want you to tell your people, I want them to kill a lamb. I want them to put the blood on either side of the doorpost. So when the deaf angel come and see the blood, he'll pass that door back. Moses went on and told Pharaoh what he said, but he wouldn't let those people go. And the Bible tells me it was midnight when there came a great cry in the land of Egypt. All of the firstborn in that land was killed. That lets me know that God moved. God moved at midnight. I got another story. Can I tell that one? Talking about the five wise and the five foolish virgins. When they went out to wait on the bridegroom. And you know how that story goes, don't you? The foolish ran out of oil. And the Bible said it was about midnight when somebody cried out, the bridegroom has come. I got one more. I got one more. And then I'm going to leave you alone. Talking about old man Paul and old man Silas. When they were bound down in that Roman jail, didn't have nobody that could go their bail. Now, if, can I imagine just a little? I imagine old man Silas had been troubled ever since that jailer closed them doors. And I imagine after he had taken all he could take, he looked at Paul and told him, said, Paul, oh Paul, don't you think we ought to sing a song, a prayer, prayer? And you know how it is if you ever been in a situation where you knew that everything was going to be all right, but somebody else was all trouble and tore up about it. See, Paul had been in Rome, and Paul already knew that at midnight, all of the Roman God would go to sleep. But he knew that the God he was going to call on never sleep. So I imagine a little bit again. When Paul looked back at Silas, he told him, said, Silas, oh Silas, let me tell you what we gonna do. We gonna wait till the midnight hour when all the Roman God go to sleep. We gonna wait till the midnight hour when it's just Jesus, you and Cause he's the only one I know That can deliver us And save our souls Let's wait until the midnight Till the midnight hour
so important people of God to get into the very presence of God nothing else matters now in fact I want you to find yourself right in the holy of holies I see his presence I'm in his presence. And while I'm there thanking him, I know that I have a right. Whatever I need, he will supply. I believe tonight somebody just wants him to open up the windows of heaven for you. Let it rain. Send down your blessings, Lord. I just need you to move in this place tonight. I just need you to move in this place tonight. He's doing it right now. Hallelujah. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. The floodgates of heaven Let it rain Let it rain Help me somebody say it tonight Open the floodgates of
feel the rain I feel the rain I feel the rain Anybody feel the rain? Anybody in this place you feel the rain? Is there anybody in here you feel the rain? I feel the rain. Maybe you need to look at somebody and tell them it's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Full gospel come to tell you it's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Can I just thank you for the rain, Lord? Can I just thank you for the rain? Can I just thank you for the rain? to me. 
in sorrow But my pain is so hard to bear And he cares about my situation It's good to know He's always there When my days are dark as night
Open blinded eyes Fed the home Though without door He took me in The cripple He healed the leg Though they couldn't talk Made them talk I can't find In it But one day One day Somebody cried out Crucifying 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 He blasphemed Against Caesar Telling everybody He's the king of the Jews Then they tell me Tell me They took him To a man Named Paul Stood there while Pilate asked him, Are you guilty? Are you guilty? Are you guilty? But he never said one word. Pilate told him, You're standing here. You won't talk to me. I got the power. I can crucify it or I can let you go. Then Jesus told him, Only power that you have is what my Father give you from on high. Then Pilate took him back to the people. Said, bring me some water. I want to wash my hands. I don't want to be guilty killing this man. And then the crowd took him Whipped him all night Early that morning Put a cross On his shoulder Started him out To a place Called Calvary Tell me Tell me Tell me After a while He went down Somebody look, ask the question, must Jesus bear that cross alone? All of this world, this world will go free. There's a cross for everyone. I know that one somewhere for me. And then he got up, he got up, he got up. Went on up the hill, no fall. kept on walking for you, no fall. he kept on walking, and for me, no he kept right on walking, after a while, no after a while, when it got real quiet, no way back in Jerusalem, no they could still hear power. Saying that same thing, no telling everybody, I can't find no fault in it. I can't find no fault in it. Anybody here tonight can say that same thing. I remember when I was growing up. I used to hear the old folks sing this song. Oh, I didn't understand what they were singing about because I really didn't know what they were going through. But now that I've grown up to become a man, I understand what they meant when they sang this song. Precious Lord, take my Take my hand. 
walking downtown one day and I saw a man who appeared to be just an old wino sitting on the street telling the people about Jesus as they passed by and because he was all raggedy and dirty people would just laugh and make fun of the old man and walk on by and he said because of the way I am no money no fancy clothes fine homes and cars a lot of people consider me as nothing and say I don't know what I'm talking about. But there's one thing that he said that really touched my heart and stayed on my mind. When that old man looked up and said, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about 
somebody who can save anybody. He said, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. And he said, I've had so many problems in my life that I just couldn't deal with. So I started drinking, thought it would help ease my pain, but things got worse. So I said, Lord, I give up. I'm in your hands. And that's when my life began to change. But these people think I'm just a nobody Trying to tell everybody About somebody Who can save anybody I'm just a nobody Trying to tell everybody About somebody Who can save anybody and he said, on the streets day and night, that's my life, that's my home. Ain't got nowhere else I can go. So I just walk the streets telling the people about Jesus from corner to corner, from door to door. But they all make fun of me and say I'm a nobody Trying to tell everybody About somebody Who can save anybody Oh, I'm just a nobody Trying to tell everybody About somebody Who can save anybody he can say the Lord save. can say Ooh, he can say save your soul. I tell you, save. through Jesus Christ, your life can be changed save. and made whole. He can bring everlasting save. joy and peace within your, your soul. soul. And in many ways, I feel just Save. like that old man, born in the country, Save. raised on a farm, no money, no fancy clothes, clothes, no fine homes and cars. But thank God, Save. Mama and Daddy raised me up on the Save. real deal, and that's God Almighty. Save. And sometimes Save. when I sing about Your Jesus, soul. and people won't listen, I feel like I'm just a nobody.
You pick me up, Lord. You turn me around. 